I'm Christina Tobin, and you're on the Free and Equal Network today. I'm the founder of the Free and Equal Elections Foundation, and I have with me here today Andrew Keegan here in Venice, California. He's the co-founder and co-creator of Full Circle Venice. Welcome, Andrew. Thank you very much. Uh, good to be here. Great to have you. Uh, for all of our listeners, viewers out there around the world and America uh, who don't know Andrew yet or want to get to know him more, can you tell people about your background and Hollywood and what you're doing today and just, just who you are as an individual? Just everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I did start in the entertainment industry and have worked my life as an actor. Mm -hmm. So learned a lot through that process of being you know, in the entertainment industry, being around adults from a very young age and just you know, in general. Um, experiencing what it was like to see that very specific, you know, agenda to uh, sort of the, the outside. And I think because of that, I've been so interested in what we're doing here at Full Circle because it's really about what's going on inside. Um, as far as Full Circle, it's a meditation yoga center with, uh, in the, the, the easiest way to explain it, all of the things that happen here are just really to help people shift from their mind to their heart. Because if we're making decisions from our heart, from places of love, or from the place of love, then so many beautiful things happen. A mutual friend of ours, uh, Preston Smiles, yes. uh, he, yes. we interviewed him recently, uh, brought us together. And that's the movement of Free and Equal Elections. It's really about connecting like-minded, positive, solution-based go-getters. Yes. Uh, Preston, yourself, uh, and so on. And so... To go a little bit more into your background with Hollywood, you know, we just interviewed with the musician, uh, world-renowned musician Moby, and uh, he went a bit into the music industry of contractual obligations with uh, fellow musicians or musicians in the industry that is that uh, may bind them from being able to have freedom of artistic expression. And mm -hmm. so, can you give me a little bit more of a feel of uh, how Hollywood was for you, if you felt or had any of those encounters, and uh, how we can fix that as well, solution. Well, I know here, as far as the music is concerned, we see a lot of that happening. Um, specifically, I'm thinking of one of our, you know, longtime musical curators here had gone through that exact oh. experience, having to step out of a, a contract. There's definitely, when creativity and commerce meet, there's an imbalance in it. And so, of course, as we're discussing free and equal, this is a space that's safe where people can come and offer what it is that they're creative you know, uh, aspirations are. As far as my experience, I, I don't know that I ever felt really encumbered by a contract. I just felt that the priorities of the industry didn't necessarily align and in, in timing with my specific path. And so I just sort of veered off to Venice and ended up hanging out with a lot of artistic uh, creatives in this area. And it's taken a while. I've been here for at least a dozen years. And in that time, just seeing people come together in community, it's pretty unique in Venice, uh, the way that community operates. And so in understanding it and being a part of it, it's become more clear that it's something that can be replicated in other places. It's happening in other places, but we have all the tools here. We have you know, um, a very creative community, and we have now technology. So those elements, I think, sort of have helped to guide what's happening, not only in this space, but in the community. So you've been here in the community, and that's a big word. Yeah, uh, it is. Something you really resonate with, I feel. Uh, and you've been here 15 years, give or take, almost. Yeah. Um, that's a big chunk of life right there. Uh, I came to your first Full Circle uh, Venice, that is, uh, event last Sunday. Preston Smiles was speaking at that. Got to see you around these individuals. And, uh, you know, the media, um, what I've read about uh, Full Circle, it seems to me to be very spiritual, very independent, individual, uh, not really more so religion-based or whatnot, but just good people coming together, wanting to pursue great causes. So can you talk a little bit more about that, countering, uh, well, just specifically saying what Full Circle is in more detail? So it's a delicate dance. We've taken on quite the idea to, as you mentioned, kind of utilize the opportunity of, of a religious status alongside what we believe in as spiritual freedom. And the way that it's easiest to be described is as a non-denominational, uh, non-profit spiritual center. So okay. the practice is, again, pretty simple with meditation and yoga. And then we kind of go off into different areas with workshops and 
you, you know, tomorrow we have a meditation guide, Shinzen Young coming. So we just really opened the space to thought leaders. I think we talked earlier, Marian Williamson was here a lot during her campaign, Dennis Kucinich, Preston. So yeah, just really great people that come through the space and they, in different orientations. And so uh, we're open to obviously everybody coming and, and there is, a curatory, you know, element, which is the role of everyone here uh, at the organization, that it stays in in alignment with what we're seeing as as you know our culture, and, and culture at the end of the day, really cultivating culture. And living here for 15 years, you started a Full Circle Venice here uh, about nine months ago, last yeah. May ish or so. May was when it started. Yeah. Okay. So, what was the pivotal moment where you, you just I read about you seeing this property and. Maybe it felt right, but what was like that, that transformational, that moment where Andrew Keegan said, okay, Hollywood, life, I, this is what I want to do. It's a big step. <laughs> and you're all in it. I can see that. <laughs> it's, it's an all in or nothing type of endeavor. Yeah. We got the keys on Good Friday last year, so it was actually April, that we first just stepped into the space. And in one of Marianne's speeches here, actually, she mentioned how that itself that day, the significance of a, of a portal opening. And so we're kind of going into a little bit of a more spiritual conversation, but the significance, whether it's literal or figuratively, something really happened. So I would say that that day, the day that the keys were handed over and there was just nothing in here, we you know, kind of walked around the space, a big empty 7,000 square foot temple, and set our intention to do something bigger than ourselves for a higher purpose. And, really allow, that word allow, to allow it to happen the way that it is, is an intuitive, instinctual type of experience. So often we're taught to really be in our heads and with this project it's really just what feels right. And it doesn't always make logical sense. In fact, none of it made logical sense. It was a six month lease initially and we didn't really know what was gonna happen. The building sold for a lot of money, they raised the rent. So every th challenge has come up and we seem to keep persevering through it all. And I just have, at this point, maybe a general pivotal nine months of experience knowing that this is, uh, has been really great for the community and for just the individuals in the community. Great, and uh, it's definitely attracting a lot of good energy coming here. And You're here. I'm so glad, thank you. I'm so glad to be a part of it. And uh, I've noticed in the spirituality and plugging love to the community. Music is also an important factor, it seems, with Full Circle. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? And then one or two more questions and the music aspect. Too. Well, music is really the kind of language that transcends every, you know, creed, race, everything. It's just like we all vibrate. And right, the energy vibration. We actually do a lot of work here with specifically uh, vibrational healing type programs. Tonight we have a somebody who's basically doing a healing sound bath. Mm -hmm. So the crystal bowls, didgeridoo, drums, all these things that kind of loosen up what it is that we're holding on to because every day we're inundated with different kinds of pollutions, different kind of toxicities. And so to be able to kind of, you know, liquefy it a little bit, um, we see some real transformational experiences for people. So in an event like tonight, sometimes people shed a tear or be giggling. So it's, it's a fun place. It's, it's almost like an adult. Sometimes I say when we're all out here hanging out, it's like an adult day camp of some sort, you know? <laughs> um, and again, it's just, it's safe, it's home, it's grounded. It's really grounding what's happening, all the work that you're doing, all the work that Preston and everyone is out in the world talking about, it, to see it actualized. And that's the kind of space we hold here. And so, being a nonprofit, of course, support is always desired for a great cause. And one more question after this, but what website can they go to? Full uh, Circle. FullCircleVenice.org. Yeah, Full Circle. I'm like so trying to remember. Is that full, it? Full Circle Venice, V E N I C E.org for those around the world. Maybe yes. you don't know how to spell Venice, but definitely check that out. Uh, I read in a recent article that you're most excited in uh, finding consistency yeah. in 2015. Yeah. And so, what do you mean by that? Ooh, well, uh, as I mentioned, getting the keys and having pretty much a blank slate, there's, uh, it, with, and I'm sure you're used to this too, those that carry vision sometimes like to just throw it all out there. So that's what for, uh, 2014 was about, is really you know, opening up the space, having things come in. And so with that, there's an extra amount of challenge because it's 
hard to ground so many things. So with consistency with the program is really what I've got the, you know, the team is focusing on is how to really lock in some of the things that really work here. And um, so that also the people that are coming can have the ability to know that that'll be there that time in the week or that day and so on. Well, I see a lot of people, I meet a lot of people, thousands, tens of thousands and so on, and you've achieved a lot in a nine, in nine month span. You have the ability to move faster than most, um, if not almost all. And would you ever have uh, any um, desire to go national or even worldwide with Full Circle? Well, I would first like it's to... the foresight you have. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really important to acknowledge the team. Mm -hmm. I'm an individual who felt compelled to take a step and it's with you know my arms locked uh, with others that it's possible to move that fast. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was a saying, and I'm not sure it came up into Sunday, you can run fast al alone, but together you can get there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to remember, so I'm not good. <laughs> See, the brain is not where, it's the heart though. It was, it was a good saying. Um, but the point is, is that it really does take a team. Mm -hmm. And as it, it relates to our process co-creators, so there's an equality amongst the team rather than the typical structure. So there's no boss here. I'm simply speaking on behalf of the organization, but there's a lot of people that are here that are very smart. So mm -hmm. as yeah. this continues to expand, uh, I totally see that this can be replicated in other places. In fact, I think it's really important. I think that um, this kind of space exists and I don't necessarily think it's being utilized the way that it can be. I think that practices like yoga and meditation have existed for so many years, mm -hmm. and yet they're not readily available you know, in this country as much as they should be. So I feel that we do have a great opportunity, and in the work that you're doing and the work that we're doing here, I think that there is going to likely be um, the sort of trajectory of whether it's full circle or others that feel compelled to set up grounded space and community. Um, I think that's definitely where it's going. I do too, and I definitely have always uh, the foresight with Free and Equal Elections here to create open and transparent elections throughout the U.S. Uh, we're not able to do this without a community, a community of people that just have good intentions that want to get engaged, involved, whether it's the kind of people that aren't necessarily wanting to even run for office but are asked to by their communities. So for you to build a base so quickly, it does show to me that there's a lot of potential, I feel, with Full Circle. Venice, full circle, whatever it may be. Um, so on that note, did you want to plug your website again and have any other thoughts at the end of the, just about letting people know, again, why they should support or be a part of full circle Venice? Well, we were talking earlier, of course, the process of doing this and speaking about it is uh, in itself its own challenge. So I'm working through that process and hopefully it all makes sense. But we do feel that it's so much about the heart and allowing yourself to make those decisions from that space and that's really what the whole movement is about and that the practices of meditation and yoga really are the keys to being aligned that way and that's how we've all come together and as far as a plug fullcirclevenice.org and there's all of the information of our schedule and other things like fundraising and just getting um, getting signed up we're going to start doing a lot of things with our membership and live stream I think we're live streaming uh, as soon as next week so yeah Great. Well, thank you, Andrew. Uh, this is Andrew Keegan, again, the co-founder, co-creator of Full Circle Venice. And you joined the Free and Equal Network today. Thank you so much for your time. And Andrew, thank you so much for thank having you. us. Can I give you a hug? Looking forward oh, to working okay, with good. you. Yes. Oh, long term. So thank you. Love meeting everybody. And you are who you surround yourself with. I'm a true believer in that. And you do surround yourself with great people here that I've seen at uh, Full Circle. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Nature's Path Granola. You know, there's milk. Oh. 
Mm. Mm. That's good. Where did we go wrong? He's eating organic. It's nature's path, granola. We did good. Yeah, you did. Delicious clusters of whole organic oats with flax and pumpkin seeds. Nature's path organic pumpkin flax granola. A step on the right path. The simple power of truth. We're not nearly as insignificant in our impact as we think we are. There is a force that's more powerful, and that's the power of the people. We can create a world where people can thrive. Thrive. What on earth will it take? Be a part of the conversation. Be a part of the solution. Thank <laughs> you.